case of Akong remains a big controversy today. Yes. And I understand that there is a movement using this opportunity to push for the amendment of the less majesty law. Yes. Um, when the nation said in the headline today that mm -hmm. the passing away of Akong has put the Ying Lak government on the spot. Yeah. Well, some people think that we might be a little bit too speculative. <laughs> well, it happened today. Mm -hmm. uh, the group that you mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. calling themselves the campaigner for amendment of Article 112, yes. uh, consisting mainly of academics and some activists. Are they part of the Niti Rai group? Uh, no, actually uh, they are separate groups. Mm -hmm. They plan to submit a uh, proposed amendment to parliament mm -hmm. um, to coincide with the day that Thailand changed from absolute monarchy to uh, constitutional monarchy. Mm -hmm. On the 27th, actually, because the 24th is on Sunday, so they plan to submit this uh, on June 27th mm -hmm. uh, with the signatures of uh, at least 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so what? this did this, this, this put a lot of pressure on the Yingluck government. Well, why does the Yingluck government stand on this issue? Because I understand that in the debate on the constitution amendment, the government, especially uh, Prime Minister Ying Lak and you know several Everybody others, else. Yeah, including Deputy Prime Minister Chalam Yubamru, yes. would not touch any articles related to the monarchy. Yes, and uh, some of them even said directly that the government would not touch Article 112. Uh -huh. Kun Ying Lak also said that, Kun Chalam said that. So mm -hmm. this is a big test for mm -hmm. the Ying Lak government. Uh, as we said in the front page story today, uh, maybe Kun uh, Akong passing away may embarrass the Democrat uh, Party, mm -hmm. but the real trouble will befall the Ying Lak government. How does the government uh, wriggle out of this dilemma? Well, um, it could be set by some rules. Yes. Um, uh, people already have come out and pointed out that this uh, proposed amendment might not be fault into the permission of the constitution, of the current constitution. Mm -hmm. The current constitution allows the public to gather uh, at least 10,000 signatures mm -hmm. and propose uh, amendments or a draft legislation when it comes to community rights mm -hmm. and liberty, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anything on, uh, along that line. But the issue of uh, less majesty is not quite about liberty. Mm -hmm. It also concerns uh, national security also. Uh, if I remember correctly, Kun Somsak is well known who is the parliament president. He also said the same thing. He said that it would be impossible for parliament to, mm -hmm. uh, for the people to initiate uh, legislation that mm -hmm. would affect national security. Mm -hmm. So it's a real dilemma because uh, do if you do it, then you get criticized. If you don't do it, you get pressure from the other side. Right. It, 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 it will be a real uh, testing time between the government and the red shirt. I, I, I mean, not all the red shirt yep. movement. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. From our understanding, some of the red shirt movement really understand the need uh, mm -hmm. to reconcile, mm -hmm. to, uh, to a reconciliation. And these people will understand if the government do not touch Mm -hmm. does not touch this uh, article 112, but some elements in the literature, the, mm -hmm. especially the people who appear at the uh, criminal court today, yes. a lot mm -hmm. of people, traffic jam, and uh -huh. these people will have a lot of issue with the government if uh, parliament does not uh, accept the uh, submission for constitutional amendment. Yes, and the Democrats, the opposition party? Does it stand uh, in a better position, more comfortable the, position, or be, not? Uh, they, they'll be sitting on the fence and uh, so, uh -huh. uh, they're really comfortable. They they are embarrassed because uh, the ke uh, Akong was the, the charges against Akong was uh, were brought by the Democrat by the Party. Yes. So they better keep quiet, or right. else they get uh, mm -hmm. some political uh, bombs or mm -hmm. political uh, criticism. But mm -hmm. I think Prime Minister Ying Lak is caught in a position that she will have to maneuver in a very very. Uh, smart way to get out of this very delicate situation.